What are you doing, Brutus? You have been just going nuts since we came out here. Yeah, you just haven't settled down a bit. Let's go around. Hey, hey, that's the cat's tree. Yeah. You wanted to come out here. You drug me. Oh, well, knock the, knock the phone out of my hand. Hold on. Come on. Come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, Brutus. Hugs. No. Out of there. Get up on the couch. You have just not settled down since we come out here. You love it out here, don't you? Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well and uh, welcome to the Phenomenal Five. If this is your first time visiting me, I'm sorry, i got to deal with Brutus. He's already spilt my coffee all over everything. I mean, it was on my phone, my backup hard drive, my mouse, it was on everything. Um, anyway, uh, if this is your first time uh, watching the Phenomenal Five, I'm Larry. Um, and the other four is my dog, Brutus, and my three cats, Gossamer, Laverne, and Shirley. Um, we are in the process of, uh, moving into an RV full-time. Um, sorry, I'm keeping him, 
a little uh, focused on me at the moment instead of the knocking things over. Um, anyway, so um, check out my other videos to show where we're at on that. Um, we have the RV uh, just uh, trying to focus on uh, finding an income source while I'm on the road. Um, one thing I found, remote jobs are out there. Um, if you can work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 type thing, there are jobs out there. Um, but because I need to kind of have a little bit more flexibility than that, um, picking the days I work, um, that can change from, day, from week to week. Um, it's been a little more difficult. So, um, but we are still looking. Um, and, um, I do have a couple of leads, uh, um, in the works. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from, uh, their HR department on my request. of I, I don't want to call it my demands, but my requirements for looking any further into the job. Um, most places have been, uh, very quick to respond that no, that won't work. And I respect that. So we're going to go on. Um, so my last video was um, my uh, trip down to Kirbyville, which I had to cut short um, because uh, first off, the furnace started squealing. Um, research has shown me that uh, the motor is going bad. Um, watch the video on... How to replace the motor um, it looks like it'll if I get the right tools it'll be fairly easy Brutus stop yeah stop sorry he just wants attention like crazy um, but some uh, one of the things that they the guy that I watched the video on didn't actually show it being done but removing the blower fan from the motor itself um, is not an easy task as in it sticks it's solid in there and it takes a little bit to break it loose um he does warn that if you have a plastic uh blower well um to be very careful that you don't crack it or be replacing it um even though the will itself he says is like 20 bucks um i did look online for different motors um, and they're running anywhere from uh, 125 to 150 bucks a piece. I mean, they're probably more, some more expensive, some cheaper. That was just the general. Um, but I want to make sure that I am getting the correct motor. Um, because right now I've not been able to find uh, anything on um, specifically what type of motor I have in mind. Um, the, uh, I had, did not pull out the owner's manual and do looking to see if it's there. I need to do that. Um, or I just may go and take the motor apart, pull it out, look at it, order the same model if I can. Um, there's very possible. It doesn't matter which motor you get. They probably, you know, they're all the same type of thing, but I want to make sure. Um, and also, um, because I had to cut it short because the, um, I was running the generator and then, but I still lost power to the coach. Um, the lights and stuff were working, but they run off the battery, but the, uh, I was actually cooking something in the microwave at the time and it just stopped, um, and the generator was still running, but I was not getting any electricity to the outlets. So I still have to do research on that. Uh, but because the generator was still running, um, I'm guessing, and this is a guess on my part, and I want to call it the inverter, but I probably, that may be not the right thing to call it, or um, it may be the other box in there something's going on with so i need to look at diagnosing those i have not done that yet um right now we have been getting ice and snow as you saw in uh, 
the previous the little videos I put out beginning of this one um, so I have not been in uh, um, wanting to get out in the cold and and work with that stuff so yeah, I've been putting it off uh, which anybody who knows me very well at all knows I'm great at that I am so good at putting things off it's not even funny but anyway I just wanted to get a video out uh, let y'all know I'm still around and things are still going on. Um, I am uh, working on a, a possible trip um, to, uh, I, I haven't decided if I want to go to Oklahoma or go to Arkansas, but get another state under my belt. Um, both are having some really good um sites that look like they would be great to go to um but like i said until i get the furnace fixed and the generator issue i keep calling it a generator issue but i think it's more and I, i'm calling it an inverter but i don't know what it is um but just so you know when i plugged back into the house when i got home i was able to use all the outlets so it's something between the generator and the power and my cats decided to just have a little bit of a fight there. Didn't last very long. Uh, Gossamer got a little bossy and surely said, I don't want you doing that. Um, but yeah, they're doing okay now. Uh, so, um, remember, like, subscribe, um, hit that notification bell for uh, future notifications. And I will see you on the road. Needing to find myself a very good catchphrase. Um, but all the ones that are in my head, somebody else is using. Um, so, I am seeing you on the road. I probably have heard someone say that one, so I probably can't use it. Um, you know, my favorites be kind to one another. But Ellen probably has that trademarked and I can't use that one. Um, but we'll, we'll find one that we can use and we'll have it eventually. Any suggestions, please leave it in the comments. Uh, anyway, guys, enjoy. Um, and I will, uh, be catching you later. Bye-bye.